I just knew how to rot out every aspect you could of anything. Uh, here would be the mummy skin. So I take paint all the mummy skin and that would be the color map. We would want to put a hole right here in the mummy. So we would use that by painting an opacity map. And an opacity map is just really a data map. It's just kind of very binary. It's either on or off. So if I paint it black, it's off. You're going to see through it. None of that geometry is going to show. If you paint it white, then it's all going to show there. That would just give us something that would look like a cookie cutter. We use displacement maps, which was really clever on someone's part. And so I'd have um, probably three different types of displacement maps. I'd have a displacement map, which would um, do like the larger surfaces to make it go in. So if I wanted to make it look like it kind of um, became concave or convex going in, I would um, paint it so that the darker the black paint I use, um, the more it would go in. And then the lighter the paint, the more it would go up. So I paint something kind of gradated to make it come up. And then it would create that kind of data map that would then kind of create the geometry to go like that. You could figure out everything mathematically. So I would know if I had my certain, certain settings on this map, if I went full black, I would be going in an inch. And if I went full white, I would be coming out an inch. And so you could do it like that. So that would be my kind of gross overall uh, map for that. Then I would have a secondary map where I didn't have as high a range and I would do other parts of it where I didn't want that kind of depth to go in and out. Maybe I had veins or I had digital flesh rod or I had something going along like that. Then I'd have a third map and I would do other things that I only want to come in maybe in and out an inch or something like that. These displacement maps, they actually change the geometry so that like right here without a displacement map it would look like that but once I put the displacement map in and maybe I did it darker and lighter and going on you can see the profile has changed and that was really important to make it not look like CG. And then we'd also use a bump map which is kind of just bumps things up and gives little 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 details, lines and things like that. Lines that are small enough that we don't need to actually displace them to change them in the profile to go around. It was a lot of fun. It was it was a a big thing in the industry to do it the way we did it. And I gave a presentation at SIGGRAPH and I think everyone who worked on that was very, very proud of it, the whole show.